this is the first lecture of the short course. This, in this lecture, we're going to give an introduction to the structure where SI analog circuit design. Uh, here are a few items we want to learn in this course. First one, we're going to learn symmetry principle. Uh, this are heading design information for all VSI circuit design. Uh, these are universally available principles that can be used to improve your circuit performance and also design efficiency. In this course, we're also going to learn symmetry structures. These are structures which are with building symmetry information. These are pre-trained structures that base, are based on device organization instead of individual components. Also, in this class, we're going to learn symmetry-based method. Uh, this are design methodology that have a design, building in design symmetry information. This methodology should offer you systematic way of VSI analog circuit design. The goal of such methodology are correct by construction. So now let's briefly review the basis of VSI technology itself. Up to date, VSI technology are one of the basic technology that allow us to uh, manufacture very tiny, low cost, low speed, and low power circuit elements. I also along the train, VSI technology also have been improved generation by new generation in the past a couple of decades. So nowadays we can get an even better, smaller, fast device generation by generation. However, there are some fundamental <coughs> benefit and limitation of the VESA technology itself. The first one is the absolute value or absolute parameter of a device is really hard to control and it can be vary a lot. That means typically 10 to 50 percent. However, we can make a Reaper device tracking each other. That means for the same type of device, if you make by a replicator, we can have a very good match down to even 21 percent. As a re as a result, for this circuit design, the ratio based parameter are much better than absolute parameters. So here is really uh, some background information about the VSI scaling. Uh, since the since the incoming of the VSI technology itself, I uh, will have to say actually uh, exponential enhancement generation by generation, which are captured by Moore's law. Moore's law says uh, VSI integration density of performance in enhanced every one, maybe 1.5 to 2 years. That means the density will be double around maybe 1.5 2 years, which is generation by generation. Uh, one of the most recent innovation for this technology is a 3D device. By make a device 3D away from substrate, we can significantly reduce the leakage current and also make it higher density. Uh, so here is actually uh, one chart surely the trending of the waste technology itself in the past, maybe in the next 10 years or so. One of the most, in, most in, 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 important improvement is really three device. That means we we'll make a device stacking in third dimension. By doing this, we will not only reduce the effect at device area, but also we can make a device faster and the low leakage. With the with the scaling, the benefit are clear as you. That means for for the same function. We can use a much smaller area, generation by generation. By doing this way, we can integrate more devices on the same chip and integrate more functions. 
with a reduced cost. <coughs> so in the in this class, we're gonna learn the principle of visa circuit design by using decision tree model and also the training concept. In this model, we're going to use the entropy to modeling the design complexity of the VESA design project. And also we're going to use the training to modeling the design process. And the information is used to train the circuitry such that we can convert you to all design, pro design target. In this training, we're going to look into uh, two training families. Either direct training, which are direct training on decision tree itself, or indirect training, which are using rebook information. In the same principle, we are going to look into some of fundamental principle of our universe. This is principle including principle of unit, balance, proportion, rhythm, and emphasis. We're also going to learn symmetry structures. These are structures which are pre-trained uh, using symmetry information that can be used to enhance our design efficiency and performance. The symmetry structure will be including reflection symmetry, transient symmetry, routine symmetry, and adaptation, that's the full symmetry. On top of principle and structure, we're going to build in the symmetry based design methodology. Uh, these are pre trained structure in decision tree and also procedures that uh, with the building symmetry in our methodology itself. So here's a roadmap. Uh, in this class, we're going to look into the decision tree and also training strategies. There are three training strategy which can be used to uh, minimize entropy and get the design information. The first one is real layer reduction. Second one is branch reduction and probability basing. In the principle side, we're going to learn the principle of unit, the principle of balance, the principle of proportion, the principle of emphasis, and the principle of reason. On the symmetry structure, we're going to look into structure of the reflection, structure of the translation, structure rotation, and also adaptation. That's the full symmetry. On the methodology side, we're going to look at a new concept and also methodology. The first one we're including type one, type three, types one, two, three, simulation modeling. And also we're going to look at device template, which is the lowest level of the element for VSA circuit design. We're going to look at the concept of the rich based design and digital based analog design methodology. And also again, introducing set circuitry and the product step, step tree. And also again, look into the group and the zoning of the design. And also same scaling and transformations. And those in this class, we are going to using this symmetry technique to design and also practice of design of the sum of critical analog building blocks. Uh, this is including design modeling, the open design, band gap design, phase lock circuit design, ADO design, uh, special single processing, and the physical design, and also PUT effect. At the end, I want to emphasize for this class, we're going to focus on the methodology. That means the knowledge of the knowledge is the power. So that means we're going to look into how to handle the design information by very effectively. At the end, I will uh, give you uh, uh, some reference. Uh, the first one, we can have a, a book uh, which I published. This is the principle of visa design. That is available online in online stores. We we'll also I can list two reference books for you to help you study. Uh, one is the problem set, and another one is the arts of the visa open design. All of those give you a method, a way to practice what you learn in this short course. Okay, that's all the cover this short module. 
see you next time